If you like compact French cars, but have doubts about their reliability, pay attention to this model. There will be no problems with it, because in fact this machine is Japanese. The smallest model in the Peugeot family with the Index 107 began to roll off the assembly line in 2005, but its official sales in Russia began only two years later. Therefore, in our secondary market there are no copies older than 2007. Used Peugeot 107 privately from Europe, no one drove. The miniature hatchback is assembled at the TPSA, Toyota Peugeot Citroën Automobile, joint venture plant in the Czech city of Kolin, respectively. It has close relatives Citroën CL and Toyota Ego. All three babies are built on a common platform and differ in some external design details and optics. In Europe, a pair of powertrains is offered for the Peugeot 107, a 1-liter one 3-cylinder petrol, 68 horsepower, and a 1.4-liter turbo diesel with 54 horsepower. The latter was intended exclusively for the countries of the old world and was also not officially supplied to Russia. The author of these lines, having studied many advertisements for the sale, did not find a single turbo diesel version. Gearboxes, mechanical 5-speed and robotic mechanics with the same number of gears. Moreover, the latter appeared on the Peugeot 107 in 2007, almost simultaneously with the start of Russian hatchback sales. More than it seems when you first get into the interior of the 107th, you are surprised by the unexpectedly huge interior space for its external dimensions. In addition, manufacturers managed to shove a full-size spare wheel into the bowels of such a small trunk. The rear seat backrests can be folded down to transport large loads, option. They will not form a flat floor with the surface of the trunk, but the rear door glass can be raised separately from the sash itself, which is very convenient in tight parking lots. Only a large chrome emblem on the steering wheel reminds of belonging to the French brand. The dashboard consists of one large speedometer, inside of which there is a display that displays the rest of the information the driver needs. The device moves in a vertical plane together with the steering column. The interior of the Peugeot 107 is as original as the sense of proportion allows. For example, the microclimate in the cabin is regulated by unusual levers against the background of milky white plastic. Instead of the usual glove compartment, there is an open capacious shelf in which an A4 folder is placed. Everything else looks traditional. You cannot count on the generosity of the equipment. The base Peugeot 107 had ABS with brake force distribution and front and rear airbags. The first owner paid extra for the power steering. The trendy package additionally came with the split folding rear seat back and Isofix child seat attachments. For this version, air conditioning, a tachometer, and a robotic gearbox were offered for a fee. In our market, you can find an option for every taste, from an empty version to a fully equipped one. The fact that the filling of the car is Japanese is worth a lot in itself. In addition, the Peugeot 107 is quite simple in design. For example, it does not have newfangled and complex multiplex wiring, the suspension uses well-established traditional and simple solutions. Even the motor is durable due to the use of a chain drive and the gas distribution mechanism. The three-cylinder engine, modest in power, oddly enough, allows you to start dynamically stay confident in city traffic and accelerate quite intensively. However, with short runs, if the engine did not have time to warm up and you turned it off, then it may no longer start. The fact is that the first time after launch, it runs on an enriched mixture, in which the amount of gasoline greatly exceeds the volume of air supplied to the combustion chamber. Unburned fuel residues are deposited on the electrodes of the spark plugs, preventing normal sparking. Knowing this, Experienced owners of the Peugeot 107 try not to turn off the engine for the first half hour after starting. On the oldest 107, the radiator can sometimes leak. Unfortunately, repairs here are impossible. The assembly is usually changed for 9,800 rubles. These are rates for specialized services. Officials will take one and a half times more. Active drivers can be annoyed by the two-tronic robotic gearbox, not only while driving, but also in operation if you periodically have to adjust and set the clutch setting point. Much more often than on the version with the manual transmission, you will have to change the brake fluid. The suspension does not differ in originality of design, McPherson struts in front, semi-independent torsion beam in the back. Despite the simplicity of this scheme, the car will demonstrate predictable and precise handling. In addition to consumables, rarely changed in the chassis, brake pads and discs, stabilizer struts and bushings. The engine, three-cylinder with a volume of one liter, 68 horsepower, 
is simple in design and unpretentious, however, some simple operations, such as replacing spark plugs, will have to be carried out at the service. The fact is that the motor is equipped with non-standard candles with a 12-sided head, a special key is required for their installation and dismantling, which is available only to dealers. Some owners have already had to change the pump, with work it costs about 5,000 rubles. Gearboxes. The mechanical one is absolutely reliable, but the robotic transmission will require periodic adjustments. Clutch, 8,700 rubles, with the robot lives an average of 70,000 kilometers. The front suspension is independent, McPherson type. It has an enviable durability. Even the stabilizer struts, 990 rubles each, can withstand an average of 50,000 kilometers. Many change brake pads for the same run, 2,450 rubles. The rear suspension is practically maintenance-free, as there is nothing to brake in it. Most customers did not even change the brake pads, 3,200 rubles. By the way, rear drum brakes. Electrical equipment is similar in complexity to that in domestic cars, in addition, the Japanese origin of the car affects, hence its fantastic reliability. Occasionally, light bulbs and fuses burn out, but their replacement has almost no effect on the owner's wallet. The body is made using high-strength steel parts and is characterized by high torsional rigidity. Mudguards often come off due to low ground clearance. 